Hi everything! No. Hi everything! Good morning to Dr. Razilawati and friends. My name is Siti Fatima binti Karol Anwar. Um, the short story, a fiction that I choose is The Artist of Florence by James Dimmel. Uh, James Dimmel published this short story around late 60s. Okay, I get three important characters from this short story. The first one will be the hero, Mario Fostello. The second one will be the heroine to the hero, Stella Berolani. And the third one is the antagonist in this short story, Stella's father, Count Berolani. Okay, Mario Fostello, he was a poor village boy in a place called Belerno, Italy, the most handsome continent. He made love to the children of the rich, Stella Berolani. Uh, Mario Fostello also has a talent in the art of painting. Um, next, Stella Baroni. She has a beautiful face, so gentle, so tender, and so beautifully lovely. Daughter of Count Baroni, who is a wealthy and ranks at the place. While Count Baroni is a father who disagrees with his poor girlfriends, um, for him, uh, her daughter could not afford to live in poverty. And just want the best for his daughter. And the theme of this short story is love, obviously. <laughs> okay, so I get three issues or three big problems for this short story. The first one, after Mario left the village for find a famous from his art painting, Count Berolani for Stella to marry a rich and famous pastry artist. Why does it have to be that way? Um, for me. Rich and famous do not always promise us a happiness, right? Okay, the second one. After the party ended and dispersed, Stella and three others boarded the boat for the middle of the lake at night. With a silver weather, with a lightning strikes. Here I cannot brain how desperate is it for them to go to the middle of the lake at the night when the weather does not low. After the party dispersed, I think maybe... They were drunk, maybe. And the third one, uh, the Baroni family was involved in three accidents. And all three accidents were rescued by Mario Fostello. But Count Baroni's arrogance made it only after the third accident that Count Baroni realized that Mario Fostello uh, was the right man to marry and protect his daughter Stella and himself. After the accident, um, Count tried to find uh, Mario Fostello to demand apologies from him but he denied to meet Count Baroni and uh, here I want to explain the third issues, the third problems because it kind of relates to my life okay um, something like this happened to a close friend of mine this happened and when every little mistakes get bigger we have talked about it in a good way but she ignored our advice after every single problem she did and we couldn't control it anymore we avoid from her maybe this is the only way can we her up if words can change a people let us take our own steps right from that on she began to realize some of the mistakes she had made against us a lot at least she realized she started looking for one of us to ask why things had changed. We are open to solving this problem between us by getting everyone together and talk in one place. But she also started to distance herself from us. Why? In fact, we have a um, problem. In fact, we have no problem to recovering this problem. Like now, I can still reply. I can still re can reply her PMs, her DMs, and talk about work with her because us, especially me. Uh, we will uh, be professional on that things only. If you want to eat one plate, we want to sleep in one bed, one below. That is a bit difficult for me, for us. So, I said this not because I'm the good one. I'm the good person. We, a human being, we remind each other. So here I want to say, if anyone, I want to highlight, if anyone critiques you in bed or in front of you, please don't take it easy or ignore it. Please reflect yourself for your own good. If not, it will trouble or hunt you in the future. No one will accept you. Instead, the person has a specific reasons or lack of sincere friendship with you. 
maybe you don't know and next i think this story has a continuation neat neat because i want to know mario's arts painting career and his life with stella i also curious about what happened to Cambrioni in the future um last but not least i will recommend this short story to my close friend because i think kind of this story to her she like to read love story she like to read the fiction and there is in this reading it's a bit like to understand also just a piece of paper only i think she will love it and thanks me later thank you